Hello everybody and welcome to lesson number two of my beginner golf swing series. And my first question for you is, did you stay away from the ball from lesson number one? If you did, congratulations. If you didn't, shame on you, you weren't paying attention. Well, here we are at lesson number two. And again, we're not involving a golf ball. As you can notice, I'm not even at the golf course. I had a friend of mine's down at Mobile Bay. It's a beautiful morning. I thought I'd come down here and do our video, video here. So what are we learning today? Lesson number one, we learn the pivot. Today, we're gonna learn to move the arms and the golf club with the pivot, okay? So what I want you to do to start with, I want you to just take your stance and I want you to just start letting your shoulders rotate back and forth real level. I want you to feel the weight moving into your right foot on the backswing, into your front foot on the forward swing. If you want that back foot to come up off the ground a little bit on the backswing, I'm sorry, on the forward swing, you can let it. As you get comfortable with that, I want you to go ahead and get a little bent over. I want you to take your posture. I want you again to just feel your shoulders rotate. Feel that weight moving in your feet, okay? So a nice little warm up, a nice little way to get us moving in the right direction. Now here's where the real drills take into effect. And I want you to use a soccer ball, a small basketball, a volleyball, a little playground ball, I don't care what it is, just a ball. This ball is now gonna represent our golf club. And we are gonna to learn to move our pivot and our arms and this ball together. So here's what the first little drill is gonna look like. You're just gonna hold the ball in your fingers, okay? Don't grab it in the palm. Our arms are gonna be relaxed, our elbows are relaxed, we're relaxed in the shoulders. We're gonna take our posture, get our real good posture. And all I want you to do is I want you to make your pivot and move this ball to about hip height. Let me turn this way and show you. We're gonna move it to about hip height and it's really in line with my hip. I don't want it back here behind me. I don't want it way out here in front of me. I want this ball just coming back about hip height, almost directly in line with my foot, okay? So from face on again, I'm gonna take my posture, good posture, a nice tilt, move that ball back to hip height now I'm gonna let my pivot move it forward to hip height again. Notice my back foot has come up off the ground. So I just want you to learn to move back to hip height, forward to hip height. Let me turn this way so you can see what it looks like from face on. Back to hip height, forward to hip height. And notice my ball is still in front of me. It is not to either side of me, it's staying in front of me. Nice and easy, back and through. I want you to do that drill and repeat that drill over and over again until you become very comfortable with it. I want you to be very relaxed when you're doing this drill. If you wanna get yourself in front of a mirror and watch yourself, bonus to you. Big, big plus in my book, okay? I like being right here. There's a wonderful breeze blowing this morning and it's fantastic, so a great place to do it. Now. Once you get comfortable with that motion, hip height to hip height, we're then gonna move shoulder height to shoulder height, okay? So in my backswing, I've gone to hip height. Now I wanna let my right arm kind of fold up and you can let your left arm bend a little bit too. You don't need to keep that left arm straight. And I wanna move that ball up to about shoulder height, okay? Look what it's gonna look like from face on. Now, notice where my wrists are. My left wrist is to the left of the ball from me. My right wrist is more under the ball with a little bend. My left wrist is flat, right wrist is bent. Right there, okay? Once again from face on. Shoulder height. Now, I'm gonna let the ball start to drop back down to my hip height. I'm gonna let my pivot 
move it forward to hip height over here to the left. And again, I'm gonna let my arms come up to about shoulder height. So let's take a look at what it looks like in the forward swing. So as I come forward, I'm hip height. Notice where my hands are. I don't have my left hand underneath. I don't have my left hand on top. I've just got my hands to the sides, okay? And then I'm gonna let that ball come up here to about shoulder height. Again, both arms don't have to be straight. I want both, I want both arms to be extended from waist high to waist high, but they can bend a little bit on the upper side. So I want you getting used to moving this ball shoulder high, shoulder high. Pay attention to your rhythm. If you need to stop at the top of the backswing and check your position, by all means do it. But work on that pivot, work on your footwork, work on your balance. Pay attention where things are moving. Pay attention where the weight is in your feet, okay? Awesome, awesome drill right here to get the arms to move with the pivot, okay? Now, if you've gotten yourself to where you're comfortable making that motion, go ahead and add a club, okay? Take your grip that we've learned, get your posture that we've learned, arms are relaxed and do the same thing. Waist high to waist high. Waist high to waist high. Use the pivot, use the arms. Look from back behind, waist high. That club is almost in line with my hip. The toe of the club is pointing more towards the sky. Don't have it pointing this way. Don't get your club face pointing at the sky that's open. Just looks just like that. Realistically, what I'm looking at is this leading edge of the club is in line with my spine, okay? And then when I come forward, that leading edge is still in line with my spine. Make sure when you're making these pivots that you're staying in your posture, okay? Don't be coming up and down out of your posture. Then if you've gotten comfortable with that little swing, waist high to waist high, now shoulder high to shoulder high. Shoulder high to shoulder high, okay? Nice and smooth, nice and relaxed. Dedicate yourself to these motions, okay? Take your time, be patient. The worst thing that can happen now is you to get impatient and start putting that golf ball down there and trying to hit golf shots. Continue on with this plan and let's learn the motions first. I think y'all are doing a great job. Please comment below. I would love to hear about your progress and what you think. Are you sticking to the plan? Are you paying attention to what we're doing? And lastly, are you staying away from the golf ball? Good luck, everybody, and I'll see you in lesson number three.